Now, ladies and gentlemen, please give a big clap to our speaker, Mr. Stanley Ng, CEO, Mapking International Limited. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we reply to the question where the car manufacturer are going to close. I have many young friends in Hong Kong. They said the house prices, Hong Kong is too expensive. He earns some salary, but he can't afford a house. He still want to buy a car. <laughs> okay, uh, so there's still uh, the demand uh, for OEM market. Let me start. Good afternoon, let me uh, uh, introduce ourselves. Um, my name is Stanley, I'm the CEO of MapKing. Uh, we are a company running in Hong Kong and mostly Southeast Asia. Uh, the topic I cover today is a connect car development, uh, Southeast Asia and China perspective. Uh, let me introduce ourselves first. Uh, MapKing, we are also known as MapAsia.com. Uh, we are beginning, we are a map company, a GIS company. Uh, so we try to be a leading geo-services company in the area. Uh, we focus in uh, map services and geospatial services connect with high-end solutions. Uh, at the moment, in, we provide map and content to uh, several world top uh, mobile companies in Hong Kong and Singapore. Um, we are doing also logistic feed management, truck management, GPS. Uh, we serve Sun Feng, we serve uh, Zhong Gang Tong and coaches at different companies. Uh, we do uh, intelligent transport and connected car solutions. Uh, we serve uh, some taxi companies in Singapore and Malaysia. Unfortunately, not in Hong Kong. I hope Hong Kong taxi companies uh, hire me for some more advanced things. Uh, we do smart city and AI solutions, mobile management, and uh, business uh, geo solutions. We got several awards in the past uh, 10 years, uh, mostly local. Um, and uh, these relate with uh, connected car solutions. Uh, uh, we work in 2013, uh, and then another one, uh, Data One Award uh, from, from the Hong Kong government. Uh, last year, uh, we, we won an award about um, Best Smart Hong Kong uh, Bronze Award in uh, providing live transit data to Google Map. Uh, we also do something in Singapore, period cases. Okay, uh, let me focus on the topic today, uh, connect car development. <coughs> um, the first news is uh, last year, the SIM card sold in USA to car is more than two handphones. This is uh, exceptional the first year. It means uh, if you wanna, if you are telecom companies, you need, you no longer need to hire guys selling the SIM card on the street. You go to car manufacturer, sell the SIM card there. Uh, <coughs> and also last year, uh, Actually, it was 2,000 kilometers in China from Chongqing, Chongheng to Beijing. <coughs> uh, the, the car were from uh, Chang'an, Chang'an, Chechang. Um, it drove for uh, four days, a uh, maximum 120 kilometers per hour. Uh, in low speed, it used laser sensor. Laser sensor means uh, 0 0.4 meter to 80 meter, uh, 190 degree. And for high speed, it's uh, millimeters radar. But that is not 100% <coughs> driverless car. Uh, that car um, still lead the has a driver and to manipulate whenever need. For example, uh, when change name, uh, it lead the driver to, it, it got the de detector. The sensor will detect whether uh, something obstruct when change name, but still need the driver to to say a yes. Uh, in poor weather or poor road condition, uh, it need driver input. 
uh, you know in China, China, some uh, highway, the, the name, the road marking is not clear. In that case, they need a driver input. So uh, yes, there is a driverless car in China uh, running uh, 2,000 kilometers, but actually not 100%. Okay, um, there is, uh, uh, because my topic is about uh, Southeast Asia and China, so there are challenges to connect the car in, in the region. Uh, I put it, uh, first is about technology, second is about product, and third about the ecosystem. And the ecosystem problem is uh, more severe. Uh, uh, when we look at, for example, Hong Kong government, that how, how they uh, quickly and nicely re uh, respond to Uber cars, for example coach all the drivers. <laughs> okay, uh, when, when I look at connected car, uh, there are several key uh, elements. Uh, firstly, about high-end maps and contents. Uh, <coughs> if you remember the old uh, presentation, uh, when emerging to a fifth level or a highly uh, dri uh, driverless car, they need high uh, resolution maps and context. And you need um, core technology, 5G, you need uh, live traffic data, uh, you need cloud uh, communication, you need government uh, related information. And these three um, uh, 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 important topics, the first is about money. But money, I'm not going to talk to you, I talk to investor. And the second is about government. For government, uh, we need government support port good infrastructure, we need about uh, reforming or renewing all the existing regulations and also have a supportive policies uh, which are lacking in most uh, Southeast Asia uh, countries. And also you need a core R&D development in communication, uh, short, ter short range, long range communication, 5G, 5G is coming in Hong Kong, uh, we are testing 5G. Uh, you need uh, navigation, uh, sensors, telematics, ITIS, uh, uh, safety, design, and implementation. When I look at this, uh, you remember I, I mentioned technology, product, and ecosystem. Um, <coughs> if we just look at technology, we have low, low end or high end, right? The low end is just a car connector. So you provide Wi-Fi in a bus, it's connected you provide uh, internet on a car is connected or by apps. Uh, high end, you, you, you may have uh, uh, AI in a, in a connected uh, technology. And if you look at, if we look at products, we find connected cars, internet of things, uh, different kind of sensors. ADAS, ADAS is uh, advanced drive, driver assistance system and driverless car. Uh, with this, can we move? Yes, like the, the car is moving good. But still, you need the ecosystem. You need uh, government infrastructure to support that. I believe uh, the next speaker will cover some uh, communication and government initiative or the real in Hong Kong. <coughs> okay, so time frame. Uh, now what we have, what we are going to have two or five years and 10 years. Uh, I have a question. The question is whether Asia will be slow. Uh, in my mind, uh, if we just look at the cars, look at the apps, apps is very quick, but it's only software. So Uber is very quick. In, in, in places like Singapore, Malaysia, you have Grab car and other Uber-like car. Actually in Hong Kong, we have several. We have Fly Taxi, we have Hong Kong Taxi. Uh, uh, if it's, it's an app, it's, it's easier. But if it's a system, if it's infrastructure, it's slow. So the, um, stage one is uh, we call a uh, passive detect. And then stage two, uh, data exchange. Phase three is about, uh, stage three is uh, active communication, M&M, uh, car to car. And stage four, a real uh, driverless car. What's that? For example, uh, for stage one, uh, passive detect, you may want to detect any problem in your car. Uh, you may want to receive a, a short message or a alert in your mobile phone that uh, whatsoever have a problem in your car. And uh, for uh, data exchange, you have 
uh, assisted driving drivers uh, system, you may have entertainment, you may want to have remote control of something of your car. If you sense uh, something wrong, you may send a, send a press, press a button on your software, on your mobile phone, and then tell the car uh, and inform the manufacturer that my car got something wrong, I need to come back to repair. Okay, stage three is active communication, M to M. It means vehicle to vehicle communication or vehicle to infrastructure communication. Especially when going to vehicle to infrastructure communication is quite slow. It, 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 it depends on government uh, infrastructure or planning. And Hong Kong is slow, but when Hong Kong government starts something, it usually sometimes wrong, but usually uh, goes right. So, uh, so we, are, we, are, we are not quite here, but uh, uh, no worry too much. Okay, uh, so cross platform is stage three, and stage four, a wheel driverless car. You may share a car, you may do a full autopilot without a man, without a driver. So what likely is in two or three years, actually not, not two or three years, actually I was in uh, Chongqing, and I was in Shanghai to <coughs> with Hong Kong PC to uh, study the market there. Actually, there is driverless car in China already, a uh, pilot test mostly. So it's coming in, in the market very soon. But in places like Southeast Asia and Hong Kong, it will take, I believe, uh, five, between five to 10 years. And the uh, car and communication is the uh, 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 um, services or uh, that we are expecting from a connected car. Uh, I, I don't need to go into details. And then I'm now going to show you uh, uh, different uh, approach or different applications in, in the region. Uh, firstly, of course, I show you uh, software only. And then I show you uh, some car telematics. It means software and, ha and hardware integration. For example, uh, Uber, Uber uh, is a platform, it's a good business platform, it's destructive and innovative. Uh, it's not a car telematic at the moment, but they're investing in making autonomous cars. <coughs> and in the region, we have Uber, a global player. Uh, we have Grab, Grab is running in Singapore and Malaysia and um, Indonesia. Uh, DD in China, very strong. Uh, it, and also we have uh, Fry Taxi. Fry Taxi is a Hong Kong company, and they start in Hong Kong, and they now has an Asia version, and Pick and Go is running in Malaysia. And there are some Hong Kong uh, local or regional uh, apps solutions. Okay, and then go to the next stage. It means uh, other than a software platform, we have software and hardware integration. When we have hardware and software integration, it means uh, you need to have a quality integration. It means if you press a button to start the car, but not to burn the car, right? <coughs> so to, um, there are different parts, a map, software, car electronics, and uh, V2I. And then you have different services. For example, you have a pirate car, you may have logistics solutions and uh, public transit. And actually, we already have driverless car in Hong Kong. Everyone knows or not? The uh, uh, MRT, the sub, uh, MTR. Actually, they are. They can be driverless, but still, they put a the driver there uh, for security concerns. So, so uh, what's coming up in the region may not be pirate car, but maybe some kind of logistic solution or maybe some kind of public transit solutions. Uh, and then R&D and, and several uh, R&D and IP technologies, including uh, lasers, navigations, logistics, uh, live traffic information, etc. Okay, let me show you some other cases. Um, I believe most of people here has been in Singapore. In Singapore, you have a lot of methods to call a taxi. You can hi hi taxi come come. You can stay on the taxi stand. You can make a phone call. You can tell a postcode so the car will come to the postcode to pick you. You can send SMS. You can use uh, taxi uh, company apps, right? And now change change 
changed means uh, today in Singapore, the a taxi company partner with um, apps company, car calling platform like Uber and Grab, and then you can use a apps to get a taxi for you. Okay, so you call and uh, in a standard approach, you call and the lady pick up, and then hey, where are you going? And then they send an order, and the order will send to the uh, on the search on the map which my company serving taxi companies in this in this part. So search, uh, uh, find where you are, and then send a position to a driver, and the driver receive the order and say, okay, I pick up, and then uh, start the navigation software, and so go to pick you up from the hotel to the airport. And another application is uh, very good. I tried this myself in Singapore called Smooth. Uh, in Singapore, you can rent a private car without touch any people. You, you, you download the app, I want a car, and then uh, when you go, you, you receive a message, and then go to the garage, you use a Singapore a, a autobus, but I told something like that, a pop up, and then they know you are there, and then open the door, and then you can drive the car. I, I tried it myself, I, I, I tested it myself. Uh, a very, very good experience. And then, after your driving, you park the car, and then you use the app to, at that time we call, I, I forgot why, but I, I, I was with my Singapore uh, uh, country manager, he called and I forgot why he called. He called and then uh, we park the car. <coughs> okay, so uh, we just experienced a, a kind of pirate car operations, and then uh, telematic and enterprise field management. Uh, these are, Vans in Hong Kong live running today. Today there are uh, about a thousand plus a minibus in Hong Kong equipped with GPS tracker and with a CCTV live uh, for security uh, reasons. And sometimes uh, minibus companies worry about uh, some quarrels between the minibus driver and passengers. Okay, a different kind of telematic uh, pass we can reinstall. It, on minibus and uh, different trucks, logistic systems, um, apps for management purpose, uh, mobile management. Uh, you need to have these kind of engines to run the solution. Okay, <coughs> and then connect the navigations. Connect the navigations and projects. Uh, you need good base map, and then nowadays the base map uh, has been uh, uh, upgraded to a true 3D world maps. So. It means when you are moving up on a bridge, uh, the map and the sensor can detect you are moving up on the bridge, but you are not running on the road. Uh, basic traffic information and road matching, junction wheel sign for traffic information. So these are different kinds of information. When you are uh, doing 100% automatic driving, when there is a light rail or a train in overseas coming along, you need the live traffic information, otherwise you, will, you may have accident. So uh, uh, you can see the, the level of details and the level of content required for driverless uh, driving. Oh, this is WeChat, a Vans in China. Uh, all right, it's, it's there, it's live. Uh, not very popular, but the product is there, uh, and then in this kind of platform, uh, the corporate and the uh, passengers and the cars share exchange information to the car for various purposes. You may book a restaurant on the way seeing, uh, use a kind of platform. You may uh, make a call to your friends or family. And Tangxun, Tangxun did a partnership with, uh, again, Benz. Uh, for localized services. <coughs> and uh, for security reason, you cannot talk to that device. You, it, it only pop up voice and uh, text. Okay, so for real-time traffic, you need to send a destination for driver. I want to, uh, to get a car from here to, um, to uh, Wang Kok Yam Cha, right? Uh, so uh, send a destination to the car. 
and uh, set the traffic news, traffic condition, image, cloud services, and speed map. Uh, show you some. This is what we did. Uh, this is Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. CCTV and uh, 3D map and live traffic information and uh, speed map. Speed map is Hong Kong. Uh, traffic news. For traffic news solution, actually, uh, a, and a software like that is even better than the radio. Because the radio tell you all the traffic information all in Hong Kong. But actually, if you are driving in Hong Kong Island, don't need to tell you, uh, you know, water flooding, you know, so it's um, right? If you are driving in north to, to Moon, don't need to tell you cyber park accident, right? So uh, in, a, in a telematic system like that, we already separate the traffic information. CCTV is a good CCTV uh, from data one from Hong Kong government. So we're going to work on this. <coughs> Compare Hong Kong government with some South Asia government in this, for example, uh, my experience. The Hong Kong government solution, when it starts, it runs for several years, basically working. But in some countries, we started, and then the CCTV, boom, down. We can't have. OK, uh, user share. User share is important. Uh, user share, the user press a button, share the traffic information, and the cloud services provide that to every driver. OK, um, uh, and then I just uh, show you some cases of telematic or, or uh, at the moment, AIDA-based uh, connected navigation or connected car services. And then I tell you some ITS initiatives. I hope the no problem. <coughs> OK, uh, uh, for the case of US, uh, they launched ITS strategy uh, uh, 1, 5 to 19, uh, big government investment, and uh, places like Europe or in, and, and state is different from China. In China, the mayor allow you to test on the road, just, just drive, the car drive, move. In places like U US and Hong Kong, no, cannot. So uh, they need to reform the law. In the case of US, uh, up to this year, four or five days already speed up their legislation to allow driverless car or autonomous car. And in places, uh, Google, Apple are testing in the uh, Gomentum uh, station and Detroit and some other testing stations. <coughs> in Europe, there are different uh, um, initiatives to test uh, driverless car and um, autonomous driving. Uh, in places of Japan, if you look at this, basically you find out Japan also uh, launched in uh, 2013, and then Singapore, this new Singapore amended taxi will come next year. Um, so Singapore already also have an e-driving plan uh, launched two years back. Unfortunately, in Hong Kong, we don't have that. <coughs> OK, go to China. Uh, China has a, a big uh, government strategy called Zhongguo uh, Zhizhao, uh, 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 In this plan, uh, they uh, aim at moving China into a true industrialized manufacturing state. And uh, I will show you some photo of, of this kind of test zone. Because if you do uh, connected navigation, you need a lot of tests. And you need a lot of roads for you to test. And you can see in China, in Shanghai, they have a National Intelligent Connected Vehicle Pilot Song. Uh, uh, they have test song, they have F song and E song. E is for exhibition. The F song is as big as 150 square kilometer. So you know the total Hong Kong land area is 1,000 square kilometer but a test zone of China will be, will be, not yet. Today is only five kilometer, China finished. This the stage one. In Chongqing, there are two test zones is coming up, and Beijing also. Okay, what are the policy objectives? Uh, in China, the government proposal looks for reduce 99% of traffic accident. I'm, I'm not sure whether they can achieve, but that's the plan. And, and they look for increased traffic 
efficiency uh, in 10 percent, it means uh, save the, uh, uh, improve the efficiency of traffic, city traffic. And for energy saving, for city area, reduce 20 to 30 percent, reduce 20 to 30. For highway, reduce uh, 10 to 15 percent. And creative, a uh, create common platform. And lift up and use the car manufacturing to, to lift up all the related industry, heavy industry, uh, telematics, and telecom industry, and military use, but no more information. I only heard this name. <coughs> and um, better living. Okay, you look at this, uh, uh, myself and my partner. <laughs> and the, the top is a test song of Chang'an Chicha, Chang'an Heicha in Chongqing, Chongheng. Uh, and they, they produce a lot of, of uh, uh, scenarios for testing. For example, this is this is this uh, diagram. I took this picture in Shanghai. Uh, they have a hundred plus test scenario. What is test scenario? They may want to test of a uh, poor road. They may want to test of poor signal, tele uh, telecom signals. They may want to test tunnels. They may want to test. Um, uh, uh, dogs or boys crossing the street, so something moving. So, so when you do a, a test, you need to build up this scenario to test. And uh, China. So uh, my brief uh, conclusion for China, autonomous cars is a uh, very high speed. Uh, but uh, for build up cities, for example, Shanghai, Beijing, Guangdong, a lot of traffic jams. It's very difficult. Even for themselves, it's very difficult to to swap from present traffic mode to highly autonomous traffic mode, right? But uh, for smart cities in uh, mid-range cities, I do believe that that would uh, develop very quick. The reason is very simple: they have a lot of lands, and the, and the government is very active, and uh, there is no uh, 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 not much democracy there, so the government do what they want. <laughs> But sometimes danger to people walking through there. Okay, yes, uh, uh, true. Uh, for driverless cars, there were fatal accidents, famous fatal accidents in China and in state both. Just uh, people don't talk about that too much. Okay, uh, and all China big companies, Baidu, Tangshun, Alibaba, all invest in in this area. And inter international cars, most international cars like Benz, BMW, etc., uh, Hyundai, all they went to China, all starting the testing in China. Audi as well. I talked to the GM Audi. He said, "Oh yeah, we, we start something in China as well." Uh, we see investment and uh, a lot of startups there. Uh, if you look at startups, uh, they are doing some different things. They are, not, they, are, they are not so big, but they do aftermarket technology operation. For example, the, the two pictures. One picture is about a company, they use uh, uh, ODB, ODB for some kind of services. And the next one is uh, Car2Go. Car2Go a car rental. Okay, uh, uh, IHS, uh, and then some high-end initi initiative. Uh, uh, sensors uh, of various kinds, uh, running uh, to, to support the autonomous driving. Ah, this is SCMP. I'm very sad when I saw this news. Uh, they said Hong Kong is not ready for driverless car, but Singapore is moving on. And this is a Singapore, Singapore car, 2018, uh, driverless test, and import technology from somewhere. Uh, China also is moving on. Okay, uh, some previous cases. Uh, this case was uh, Intel. Uh, yes. uh, for this case, uh, actually my company, we have Intel for some kind of uh, short range uh, communication. Uh, it mean, long range means uh, uh, you are very far. Short range is an ambulance. Now when you are driving, you close the window, you enjoy music, enjoy the air content, you don't hear the ambulance behind you. So uh, this short range communication is an ambulance telling the car, I am behind you, please get, it, get, get away, give, give the name to me. 
So, um, and then this is another uh, trial case. You see the yellow side, uh, the green, the green line. This is waste. 50 kilometer, you can drive non-stop five uh, junctions. It's greenway. This is a test case in uh, Europe. Tang Xun did something with us, and uh, this is the Europe uh, organizations. So, having looked at this, uh, we can roughly understand why I s I'm saying that uh, coming into Asia, South Asia, this will be a bit slow because of a lot of infrastructure, policy, initiative, etc., and big investment from government. Uh, 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 but still, uh, uh, in this region, we have some uh, different uh, uh, initiative moving up. For example, right hand side, you see the Kuala Lumpur city government, they have a uh, uh, ITS signboard or ITS portal. Uh, also, you see some apps development and user cloud. Uh, user cloud data is very important because user contribute data. Uh, here is uh, interesting, I provide this. Because uh, when I look into this, I consider the ecosystem is most important. And uh, ecosystem means big companies, passengers, drivers, everyone, and especially government. Uh, I put a big circle in Singapore government because I, I consider I study, I think they are best in the region. And Hong Kong behind. Taiwan is better than Hong Kong. Taiwan in public data sharing is better than Hong Kong. And uh, there are some other uh, 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 progress in places like Malaysia, Thailand, Indonesia. Okay, uh, coming up in uh, June 26 to 29, there's a science park. I am a organizer, I'm helping this volunteer. Anyone want to go to that uh, hall, ITS Asia Pacific Forum, you can come to me. That's my presentation, thank you. <laughs>